Now, film as an engine of social change is being promoted in Liberia. Recently, an NGO called Accountability Lab ran a movie-making course and a film festival in Monrovia to get budding filmmakers to tackle social issues to promote public debate. The first class recently graduated from the five-week course and made six short films that tackle everything from rubbish in the streets to conditions at schools. The BBC's Jonathan Pelele went to find out more. People that feel they can bring joy to people where they lack it, they can be held accountable for the thing they do. I agree. I'm Lawrence Yellow II, I'm Accountability Labs Country Manager. We believe that as this movie come out, this documentary come out, it will start to change the mindset of people and also change the way they think and look at things and behave as well. Five to seven different films are lined up for today's showing. This is a production of a young filmmaker who implies in the five-minute masterpiece that when politicians here are seeking the votes of the electorate, it is when they address them as the masses. But when they have been elected, the voters are now called the asses. Bring hospital and clean again. I have minister. I'm a job. So now response. My name is H. Dorcas Spiri. And what really led me to do this thing was that our representatives wanted our vote. They will always tell us that vote for me, I will do this, I will do that. And we give them a vote. They won't fulfill that promise. This is a problem that we face in this nation. So I did this thing to open the mind of our people because pretty soon will be in election. So we should know who we casting our vote for. In this film, an entire family has been stopped at a rebel roadblock during the Liberian Civil War. They are subjected to all forms of torture before the parents are finally shot dead and their daughter taken captive by fighters as a sex slave. I'm a Mecca Sunday on here. This film you are watching right now, I entitled it Until That Day. Looking at the prevailing situation in our country, we already have the peace, but still we have not reconciled. And as you see this movie, I try to bring to the people's mind my own suggestion on how best we can actually actualize this uh, reconciliation. There is no way you can be preaching about reconciliation why the perpetrators have not realized that they made some mistakes. Now, a lot of them are in the are stakeholders right now. A lot of them are in the government. But there are people victims still watching them looking around seeing them riding their big big jeeps people are hurt a lot of victims the evening has been well spent here in the manrovia Sinko district viewers are leaving the festival visibly intrigued i'm very very impressed i think it deserves the support of everyone to see how these movies can be used for society to learn the experiences of other and to learn to change yourself. Uh, it was very nice to see how they give an impression of the country, the, of the problems that people are uh, noticing here or going through here. Also that women are using their own experience to make movies out of it. It takes a lot of courage to do something like that and I think that it can be good for other people in Liberia to see this and get inspired. There will be no true reconciliation if we keep lying, and until then, That's Jonathan Pelele reporting there from a auditorium full of moviegoers in Monrovia.